Hi guys, let's move on to the next question, question number 34. Uh, we need to construct a trapezium ABCD in which AB and BC are the parallel sides and they are 3.3 cm apart. Uh, AB is given as 4.5, angle A is 120 degrees. So let's do a rough diagram. Uh, angle A is 120 degree. AB is given as 4.5 cm. BC is 3 points. Angle B is obtuse. Oh, angle B is obtuse. More than 90. BC is 3.6 cm. And the height is given as height is given as 3.3 cm. Perfect. So let's start the construction. Let's look at this question then. Okay, so my rough diagram, this is 120, the height is 3.3, AB is given as 4.5 and BC is 3.6 and this is angle 120 degree. Perfect. So let's first measure uh, AB. So I will start with constructing AB of length 4.5. Let me just extend it slightly. So this is one, two, three, four. So this is my point A. Let me just redo this. Sorry about this. Let me measure a line of length 4.5. Done. This is A, this is B. At A, I need to make a 120 degree angle, which means let me make a semicircle. done. Uh, yes, I pick it up, keep it at this point and mark 60 degree, keep it at the first arc and mark 120 degree. Perfect. I open my compass slightly and make the 90 degree arc from 60 degree angle and make the 90 degree arc from 120 degree angle. Perfect. Then I make the 120 degree line somewhere on this line will lie a uh, point D and I will join A to make the 90 degree line. But I am not making a dotted line. You have to definitely make this a dotted line. Next, I have to mark 3.3 centimeter because that's my height. So 3.3 centimeter, that's my height. I keep it at A and cut this arc somewhere here to give me my height of 3.3 centimeter. So this is my point E, which is my height between the parallel sides, which is the length of which is 3.3 centimeter. Perfect. Now at E, I need to make a parallel line to AB. How do I make a parallel line? I make a 90 degree angle because this is how we've been making our parallel lines. Perfect. So let me start making the semicircle. 
done without making the ch uh, changing the e span i keep it at the point where it intersects a e and make my 60 degree mark perfect i keep it at the 60 degree point and make the 120 degree mark yes 120 degree done i open the span slightly and i make the arc for 90 degree perfect i keep it at the 120 degree point and i cut this first arc here so this will give me my line which will be parallel to ab so this is the point which lies on 120 degree and is at a height of 3.6 centimeter so this is my point b next i need to find point c and i know that c is 3.6 centimeter away from b so let me measure 3.6 from b perfect so now i'll keep my arc at b and make an arc either here or here where should i make my arc if i make it here then angle b will be acute if i make an arc here angle b will be acute but as per the question angle b is obtuse so let me make an arc on the other side this is 3.6 and then i join b with this point which is 3.6 centimeter away from b so this is 3.6 centimeter ab length is 4.5 centimeter and the height is 3.3 centimeter so this is my required diagram let's move on to the next question oh i made it on 37 this was question number 34 uh, okay no problem so i'll make the next one on 34 so this is question number 34 not 37 my mistake this is 34 and then this one is question 37 let's look at question 37 the one next that we do next Let's look at question 37. Question 37 says the perpendicular distance between the pair of opposite sides of a parallelogram are 3 cm and 4 cm. Also, this is a parallelogram. Uh, opposite sides are equal and parallel. Perfect. So, one height, which is from here to here, is 3 cm, and the other height, which is from here to here is 4 cm. So the height, the distance between AB and CD is 3 cm and the distance between AD and BC is 4 cm. And one angle, let's say this angle is 60 degree. So how do we do this construction? Fair enough. Do we know the height of, um, do we know the length of AB? No, we don't. So let's make a longish line. Oops. Drawing a straight line also is a problem for me. Doesn't matter. Let's do this once again. So let me draw a longish line AX. And on this line, I make a 60 degree angle because B will lie somewhere on this line. Let's call this AY. Perfect. And I need to make the height here. So I make 120 bisect 60 and 120 and I get let's call this a e so this is e and this is point f so on this i know the height is 3 so from a i cut this at e with a height of 3 cm i know that ec will be parallel to ax so i create a 90 degree here and let's call this em Somewhere on EM lies point D as well as point C, but D is also on this AY, so this point is D. Now I know that DF is 4 cm, so at D I create a 90 degree because it's a height, and I let's call this DL. I know the height is 4, so from D I mark this point, so I've got my point F. 
which lies on BC and BC is parallel to AD. So I need to create a line which is parallel to AD which means from here again I make a 90 degree angle and I make this. So the point where it cuts AX is my point B and the point where it cuts DM is my point C. Let's look at this. This is height 3 and this is height 4. Done. So let's start constructing. Uh, a rough diagram for my reference. This is A, this is 60, this is 3 and this is 4. Perfect. So let's start. First thing I'll do is I will draw a line of a slightly longish length. Perfect. This is point A and at A I need a 60 degree angle. So I open my compass slightly and make a semicircle. Done. Without changing the span, I keep it at this point and I cut my 60 degree arm. Done. I've got the 60 degree arc. Then I keep it at the 60 degree arc and cut the 120 degree up. Done. I open the span slightly and I make an arc somewhere here because this will give me the 90 degree cut. And then I keep it on 120 degree angle and I cut this here. So I have got my point. Now I join this. You will be joining using uh, a dotted line. I am not using a dotted line. You will join using a dotted line. Perfect. So let's say this is this was AX and this is let's say AY and I here need to so and then I also need the 60 degree because this one angle is given as 60 degree. Let's call this point M. So this is 60 degree. Perfect. The next thing I know is that the height is 3 centimeter. So let me measure 3 centimeter on my compass. Done. I cut an arc from on AY this will give me the point E. So this is the height at which I will have a line parallel to AX. This is my point E. Next I make a line parallel to AX passing through E for which I draw a 90 degree here. How do I draw a 90 degree? For that, I will need a semicircle which I can bisect. Sorry about this. Let's do this once again. Uh, this is question number 37 and this was the rough diagram 3 and 4. Sorry about this. So let's do it again. My length not given so I will take a length slightly longish length and this is at this point I make a semicircle. Without changing span, I make 60 degree, I make 120 degree, I mark 90 degree here, from the other point also I mark 90 degree here. I 
I join using straight line. I join 90 degree using straight line. This is 90 degree. Next, I need to measure the height as 3 centimeter. So I measure 3 centimeter and cut this arc here. Done. This is my point E. I make a semicircle at E because I need to make a 90 degree at E. Done without changing span. Keep it at this point. Cut this arc somewhere here. This gives me 60. I keep it at 60. Cut this arc here. This gives me 120. I increase span slightly and keeping it at 60. I cut an arc somewhere in the middle. This will give me 90 degree line. I keep it at 120 degree mark and I cut this arc here. This will give me the 90 degree line. I join point E with this line. So this is point E. This is distance of 3 cm. This is point A. This is point X. We had created AY. We had created AM. Now this is 3. This is 60 degree. AE for you will be a dotted line. Now I know that this is point D because this is, uh, is lying on 60 degree angle and it's making it uh, it's at a height of 3 cm from A. Next, at D, I make a 90 degree angle. Why am I making a 90 degree angle at D? Because I know that uh, the height from D is 4. So I will have to create the height. So let me draw the semicircle without changing span. I pick up the compass, keep it at this point and make a 60 degree cut. Next, I keep it at the 60 degree cut. And make a 120 degree cut. I open the span slightly. Somewhere here, I make a 90 degree line. I pick it up, keep it at the 120 degree point and make a 90 degree line here. Perfect. So this is making a 90 degree line. I join D with this 90 degree line. Perfect. So now this angle is 90 degree and the length of the other, the height is 4 centimeter. So I measure 4 centimeter here. Keep it at D and cut my height at 4 cm. So this gives me my point, let's say, I will not write the point F. Next, I need a line parallel to AD passing through F. So at F, I make a 90 degree, which means I make a first a semicircle. So I make a semicircle at F. Without changing span, I keep it at this middle point and I make the 60 degree cut. Perfect. Without changing span, I keep it on 60 degree and I make a, the 120 degree cut. Then I open the arc slightly and make a 90 degree cut somewhere. I pick it up, keep it on the 120 degree point and cut this line here. Did cut properly, so let me just extend my first line. Done. So now I have got a 90 degree line. I join this point with this point and extend it further. Perfect. So now I have got a 90 degree here as well. This was my point F. The point where it intersects E, 
L is the point which is C and the point where it intersect AX is my point C. So this height is 4 cm between this is B sorry. Yeah, the, so the distance between AD and BC is 4 cm this height and the distance between AB and CD is 3 cm. Perfect. So let's look at the next question. The next question that we have is question number 38. Question 38 says draw a parallelogram ABCD. So this is parallelogram ABCD. Opposite sides are equal and parallel. Perfect. So opposite sides are equal and parallel. AB is 6 cm. AD is 5 cm. Angle DAB is 45 degree. And we have to let AC and DB meet in O. Okay, so AC and DB meet in O. So this is the point where they meet. Uh, this is a parallelogram. So the property of parallelogram is that the diagonals bisect each other. Right? The diagonals bisect each other. Right. So prove that OE and what is E? E be the midpoint of BC. Oh, so this is the midpoint of BC which means these two sides are equal. So EC and BE are equal. We need to prove that OE is parallel to AB. Uh, let's do the construction. I'll come to the proving part slightly later. Let's do the construction first. So this is the rough diagram. A, this is 45, B, C and D. AB is given to be 6 and AD is given to be 5. So how will we do this construction? First, I will construct AB of 6. Next, I know that I need a 45 degree angle. So I will construct 90 and then I will bisect 90 to give me 45 degree angle and D is 5 centimeter away from here so I'll cut D with 5 centimeter next is to find C uh, I know that C is 6 from D and 5 from B so I'll cut 6 from here and 5 from here this will give me my point C let's do this construction first let's construct AB of length 6 centimeter next I need to make 90 degree and bisect 90 degree okay, so that will give me 45 perfect so I am making a semicircle first done without changing span I keep it here mark 60 keep it at 60 mark 120 open span slightly make us arc here for 90 keep it on the others at 60 cut this first arc here for 90 and then make the 90 degree line you will draw this using dotted line next I need to bisect 90 for which I will open it. Oh, yeah, the semicircle is already done. I will open it slightly of my convenience and somewhere in the middle of 40 and 90, sorry, 0 and 90, I'll make an arc, keep it at this point and cut this first arc here. So this gives me angle of 45 degree. I will join this with the 45 degree angle. So this is 45 degree. This is A. This is B. This is 6 centimeter. Next, I need to find point D. Point D is 5 centimeter away from A. So I measure 5. Keep it at A and cut an arc here. Perfect. So I've got my point D. To find point C, C is 5 cm from B. So let me keep it at B. 
and cut an arc of 5 cm and it is 6 cm from D. So let me measure 6 cm. I will keep it at D and cut the first arc at a point. Done. Now that I have got this is point C, I will join D and C and I will also join B and C. This is the required parallelogram. Now what they want me to prove is that AC and DB meet at point O and let's say or let me try if I can measure it properly. Let's see if I've got this correct. They are almost correct. So what they want is if the middle point Let's say this is the middle point. Okay, so I can't mark the middle point with, with the scale around. Let's say this is the middle point. Okay, so this is this. Let's say this is the middle point and this is point E this side and this side are equal. They want me to prove that OE is half of AB and OE is parallel to AB. So let's go and discuss this. So this is my parallelogram and I need to prove this. Let's discuss this now. O, E, A, B, C, D this side and this side are equal, this side and this side are equal, this side and this side are equal. Let's start this. In a parallelogram, diagonals bisect each other. Therefore, so let's give it a number, OA is equal to OC, number 2, OB is equal to OD. The reason is what we have already given here. Next, CE is equal to BE. E is midpoint. This is given. Perfect. Now, there is something called midpoint theorem, which is a chapter which we haven't done. We will discuss this chapter in some time. But let me tell you what is midpoint theorem. Midpoint theorem says that in any triangle, in any triangle, if a, uh, you join two midpoints, so let's say this is X, Y and Z and this is L, M. These are the midpoints of X, Y and X, Z. So these are midpoints. Then if you join the two midpoints, then joining the two midpoints give you a LM will always be parallel to the third side, in this case YZ. So if you join two midpoints in a triangle, then the line joining two midpoints is always parallel to the third side and is always half the third side. This is known as the midpoint theorem. So let's write this. We will prove this later. But I just wanted to know because this question requires you to use midpoint theorem. So in triangle ABC, I'm looking at this triangle ABC. Right? So I'm looking at this triangle. So in triangle ABC, uh, let's look at number four. Point number four is O is midpoint of AC from one and two. Perfect, because O is the midpoint of AC. Number 5, E is midpoint of BC from 3. So next thing is, how do you write this? The midpoint theorem states, midpoint theorem states that if 
you join the two midpoints of any triangle then the line joining the midpoints is parallel to the third side and half of it so using midpoint theorem oe is equal to half of ab and oe is parallel to ab hence proved perfect let's look at the homework questions for you the homework questions are 33 35 36 and 39 thank you so much i'll see you in the next and the last video for this chapter bye bye